Hey, this is Professor Homa. Welcome to Intro to Charts. I'm actually going to use the Mac version for a change uh, to demonstrate creating some simple column charts. I'm actually using Office 2011, Excel, obviously. And I'm actually using this worksheet data that we've used in the past for the Save Sable River. We use that for our intro to Excel. And I'm just going to make two simple charts. Now, the data that we have on this worksheet has it has fundraising activities going down the left side, it has cities going here, it has totals for all this stuff at the end, it has totals for the cities, one big overall total for fundraising. We're going to break it down and actually do one chart for the cities so we can see who had the highest amount of fundraising and also break it down by uh, fundraising activity to see which activity raised the most amount of money. Now obviously you could look at the totals over here and figure that out but we're gonna display that visually using a chart. So the first one I'm gonna use is the cities. So I'm just gonna click on this first cell B3 and just highlight through all of these cells. Six cells I just selected here for these six cities. I'm just highlighting those six cells and then I want the totals down here. I don't want all this in between um, figures. I just want the totals. So to do that, now on Windows I'd hold Control, on a Mac I'm going to hold Command, and I'm going to highlight these six cells. Now you always want to make sure that you have an even number of cells selected. So if you select six up here, you want to have six down here. Uh, you don't want to ever have seven. Now you could select more going down if you had a clustered column, but we're just making a simple column chart right now. So six cells up here, six cells here, and then I'm just going to insert my chart. Now I, on the Mac version I could click on Charts, on the Windows version you would go insert chart um, but over here I'm gonna just so select column and just use the first one it says clustered column but it'll just be a, a simple column and it'll just make a generic kind of chart right now and Windows will, will do the same thing it's just kind of a, a blue and blue and white kind of chart and it'll have a couple things here it'll have a, a legend over here which we don't really need because the legend is only helpful when we have kind of clustered columns when we need to differentiate between them or if we have a pie chart a legend is helpful uh, to differentiate by color so I don't need a legend I'm actually just gonna click on this thing and delete it okay now also if you don't want the generic blue and white color and I make sure I click on the chart and also another thing about selecting the chart you can see I have like a four-sided arrow that that lets you move the chart around I can move it over top of my data I can move it over to the side I can also make it larger by going in the corner and getting kind of a double-sided arrow that goes in a 45 degree. So if I drag that on a 45 degree angle, I can make that chart a little bit larger or smaller. And you don't want to make it too small because it'll have a hard time fitting in all the information. So you can move it with a four-sided arrow or drag a corner with a double-sided arrow. So let me make this a little bit bigger and that may take some practice and you could also distort it a little but you, you want to try to keep it in proportion okay what I'm gonna do on this chart right now and actually I was I was mentioning that you could change color now under design on Windows you'll have these kind of uh, different options now I'm just on the charts button now there's charts there's chart layout and there's format now I'm just on charts on the Mac version and I'm gonna just make a different color chart Maybe I'll just make this, there's ones at the bottom that have kind of a black background that look kind of look kind of neat. And I'm going to use that for now. And maybe I'll scale it down a little bit. I'll squash it a little bit. Now what I'm also going to want on this chart, you can see we have data on the side, which is the dollars. We have data on the bottom, which is our cities. So those were our two columns, or our two um, rows of cells that we had selected, and it created this chart and obviously the data is indicating the numbers. Now what we're also going to do here is add a chart title. Now this would all be the same on Windows. You make sure you select a chart. Anywhere on the chart is fine, just so you see this chart information here. And I'm going to go to Layout. Now on Windows it says Layout, on Mac it says Chart Layout. But you're going to see the same items to choose from. Chart Title, I always go Title Above Chart. So I'm going to choose Title Above Chart. Now where it says Chart Title, Now, obviously, I just don't want it to say chart title. Now, you could double click in here and highlight this, and this is going to be fundraising by city. Okay, now you can also, if you just click on this once, you can also type information up here in the formula bar. 
if you don't like typing right in here. But that's my chart title, and I usually put it above the above the data. Now, also, other things I'm going to put on the chart other than chart title are going to be access titles. And those are just the little access titles that go below where the cities are and to the left of here. It's just a, another little identifier that helps out a little bit more. And I'm going to go to access titles, and I'll use my horizontal one. Horizontal is the one going down the bottom. And I'm going to put it below. And it says access title. And now instead of trying to type in here, it's kind of small, I'm going to go up here, and I'm just going to type... Um, you know, city and hit return. That's all I need to do and you can see it put city down here. Now if I want to put one up the left side, now it's obvious this is money and dollars, but if you wanted to put one, make sure you go to chart layout again, access titles, and I'm going to choose vertical access title and I'm going to choose rotated. Rotated means it, it'll be, um, well, any, let me just show you, here's vertical and I don't like it written so that the letters are vertical. So I'm going to change that and make sure it's rotated. I prefer it like that. Even though now it's hard to type in there, so that's why I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to put dollars. That's good enough. So again, these are horizontal axis title, vertical axis title, our chart title, and the last thing I'm going to put on here are data labels. Data labels are just little labels of data that that kind of help us read the chart a little bit better. And to do that, just make sure the chart's selected, chart layout, and I'm going to put on data labels. And they could be anywhere. They could be inside these columns. They could be outside. Actually, with these, it's easier to read when they're outside. Because if they're in, it, it gets a little harder to read when they're over the columns. If you needed to change something, if you wanted to make these things bold or anything, you could select them, and it selects all of them. And you could go back to your Home tab, you know, and make them a little bit bigger. You could, you could make them bold. Uh, you could even change the color if you wanted to make it yellow. They're, they're yellow now. So... Again, these are data labels that are here, chart title, horizontal axis title, and vertical axis title. So that's one chart I did. I'm going to do one more, and you'll see that it doesn't take long to do. I'm going to do a chart now by using the fundraising activity. So I'm going to highlight these five cells. So if I highlight these five cells, I should also highlight another five cells. So I'm going to hold Command, and I'm going to highlight the totals because that's what I want. So I have... Five cells here highlighted, five cells here highlighted, and, and Windows use Control, Mac Command, and then I'm just going to go to Chart and do a column chart. And I'll choose the first one here, and again, it'll come out generic. Now, whatever, whatever you want to do first, if you want to get rid of the legend, you could get rid of it. If you want to put it in the same color as the other one, you could put it in the same color as the other one. And then if you want to add things, Go to Chart Layout, and that's where I'm going to add my chart title. Here's Chart Title, above Chart, and that I'll just, and again, I'll, I'll click up here and type Fundraising by Activity, and I could hit Return after typing that. And then if I still want to put Access Titles down here, I'll go to Chart Layout, and I'll choose Horizontal Access Title, which is the one at the bottom. And that's just going to say activity, and I'll just type it up here in my formula bar. And then I could just put dollars again on the vertical axis title. Again, I have to go to layout, axis title, vertical. I always choose rotate it, and I'll just type dollars up here in the formula bar, and there's dollars. And the only other thing I can do is put a, like I did over here, the data labels. And that I could go under chart title, data labels, and I'll put outside end just like the other one. And there they are. If I want to make them bold, I could click on one of them, go to my home tab, make them bold. If I want to change color, I'll just make it yellow just like the other one. And there they are. If I want to resize it, use the little double-sided arrow here. I'll make it a little bit bigger. If you want it about the same size as the other, you could kind of put it underneath the other and make sure you get the double arrow and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And there they are, they're the same size. So if you wanted to copy and paste them into a Word document or whatever, um, and then there's different ways you could change the colors on here and, and change the fonts and all that. But just for now, I just wanted to go over the basic parts of, of a chart. And again, just to review one more time, 
chart title, horizontal axis title, vertical axis title, and these things are your data labels. And this is just a simple column chart that we created from basically two selections of cells that were both the same amount when we selected them.